Hello and welcome back. So today, I'm staying in the house, absolutely freezing. I've just done one video, recorded it anyway. Uh, so this is uh, the next one that's on my bucket list to do. So it's to save your project. So I've got loads of projects. I've spent hours on some of them. And uh, if my computer was to crash or I went to buy a new computer, where, what, how do I export my projects and my timeline? So this is what we're gonna do today. So uh, get your fleece, get your coffee, and let's get into it. So I've set this up, uh, basic uh, project, and it's got some sand in it, and then we've got some video that I've not used. So uh, this project I want to save. So let's go over to projects. As you can see, I've got loads of them, but for this purpose, we're going to save this one. Um, if you want to rename that, I did do a small video on that. Go and have a look at that. I'll put that in the description. Uh, but I want to save this. So to save this, right mouse button and we want to export projects. Uh, what that'll do is dump it into a file. Uh, on this occasion, it's a DRP file, so it's DaVinci Resolve project. So press export. In here, it brings up your um, file manager. On here, I've got my PC. I need to get some space. I will be putting a new SSD in this uh, laptop. Um, so subscribe, and uh, you might see me do that. Uh, if you want the details of the laptop that I've used, I've got three screens on this thing running. Uh, that's in the description. Anyway, digressing again. So DaVinci Resolve, I've got a network attached storage. So click on there. In here, we've got nothing at the moment. And I've got the file name at the bottom and save as type. So DRP, DaVinci Resolve project. So click new folder. So we're going to type um, projects. And I'm going to go into there, double click on it, and then save. And that's it. We don't need to do nothing else. Um, we can go out of here. We'll actually load up a different video. So we'll go video build playlist. This is a big project that I'm working on. Um, I've got various videos of it. Anyway, so I've loaded this up. Uh, go back to the house, bottom right corner. And now on here, we want to get rid of that project. So the project that we've just saved, we're going to get rid of. So right mouse button on there when you've highlighted it and then delete. I would not advise doing this if you've not saved it. This is a test project uh, to see if it works. Uh, this is the first time I've done it. So delete and then delete project. You can't undo after this action. Just remember that. Just remember what you're doing. Make sure you've saved it. It's gone. So let's go back to DaVinci Resolve. So let's press the folder at the bottom. So at the bottom on your taskbar, if you're using Windows, I've got Windows 11, press on there, that'll bring up um, uh, my PC. So let's go back into DaVinci Resolve and let's go down to projects. And there's our DRP file. So you can see where it says DaVinci Resolve projects. And now what we wanna do is we want to load that back into DaVinci Resolve. Now to do that, um, we go back onto projects within DaVinci Resolve. We just wanted to make sure it was saved in the file, uh, which it is. So we want to now import. So press import at the bottom here, you can see export and import. So like we've just done before we deleted it, we exported it using the right mouse button, as you can see. Uh, this does exactly the same. It's just as long as it's highlighted, remember to highlight it. So now we want to import the project. So press import. And then it takes us to the, the folder that we already opened. So this is that file that we exported. So and we cl click on it, press OK. And it's imported it. So let's double click on it. And everything's there as it was saved. That is it. So we'll move on to the next thing. All right, let's get a coffee. Some more coffee, eh? Okay, so now we've had some coffee. Let's save a project timeline. So we've now saved the project. So what we want to do is save a timeline, export it, and then put that in to another project. So uh, let's get into it. So now we're going to load up another project. So little house again. So we're going to go back to the house build playlist that I'm currently working on. And in there, there's numerous playlists, uh, sorry, 
timelines. So I've got a set of waypoint, I've set up POI done, point of interest. Uh, if you're interested in them, I will put them in the description. There'll be a massive long um, link list of the videos that uh, I've put in here. So, uh, so we want to export that. So we're gonna highlight it. So number two, we'll export it. So right mouse button. And then what we want to do is go into timelines and in there you've got import and export. So we're gonna go to export and in there you've got AAF and it goes on to more. So this is basically file types. So if we click on that, that now will bring up your um, file manager. If you're on Windows, it's Windows Explorer. So then we want to go back to DaVinci Resolve again, which I've got network stat storage. Then into projects, we're gonna save it into there. It's already got the file name under what the timeline is. So we're just gonna save that. So that's now saved. So we can double check that. Uh, so we can double click our Windows Explorer. I've already got it open on the screen, so we'll just drag it over. Now, if we go to DaVinci Resolve folder, go back into projects, you can see I've now got two files. So one, so let's open the file type up a little bit and you'll see that. Um, so we've got the, the first one was number two. I like to number them so it keeps them in line in the projects that I'm working on. And the same on the um, folder setup within the uh, projects that I run. I'll, I'll do that as soon as we've done this, um, digressing again. So anyway, so um, setup, um, which is the timeline. So as you can see on the right here, you've got type DaVinci Resolve timeline file. And then the bottom one is DaVinci Resolve project file. So as you can see, we've got the timeline now open. Now there's a couple of ways we can open this, but before we do that, we need to go back to DaVinci Resolve locks are backwards and forwards unfortunately and then we're going to open up that temporary project that we created and then what we're going to do in there we're going to add the timeline into there so uh, so it's like exporting and importing from one project to another and you can do the same way you can save the project for the next time so we'll go back to that temporary project now there's a couple of ways like i've said you can do this you can literally just drag and drop there's nothing else to it you just as you can see plus but we're not going to do that i'm going to show you how to do it using the master clip names on the left hand side here which is under your media pool so right mouse button anywhere within that media pool under master and then we want to have i pressed the wrong thing No, no, no. Yes, what I did is, I apologize. Uh, so I clicked on a picture. Make sure you pressed on a timeline that's currently within the timeline. So I've got timeline one down here. And then this is timeline uh, four that I've named as still images. Press the right mouse button, timeline, and then import. And then you want the top one again. So like export, which is the top one for the file names, uh, file configuration we want to now import you can also control shift and i for this on windows so now we want to import that so we'll go to davinci resolve projects and then we've got there because it's in importing timeline it will only show you timelines within that folder so if you've got numerous projects within that folder it will only show you the timeline uh, projects uh, sorry files so Double click on that, that will now import it. Take a second, as you can see, it's imported it. Uh, so if we press on set up POI, double click on it, you can see now it's loaded up. And that's the project that uh, I did a few weeks ago. And it's now loaded into another project, which I think is quite cool. Uh, so yeah, it's literally that simple. If you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments. Uh, just one last thing, I'll show you quickly how I've got my project set up within my folder structure. Um, I did mention that. So I've got two here, two folders. I've got DaVinci Resolve, which is projects. And under there, you can see they're all um, date and time stamped. And what I mean by that is 
as I do a project, I'll put the date in, but I'll also put the project number. So whichever project it is at the time. So I'm currently say project number 15. So that's the 15th tutorial I've created under Dimitri Resolve. So that's how I like to do it. Just give it a quick abbreviation uh, and then we're good. We've got different other things in there that I've saved. But if you look under the YouTube stuff and then in my videos, you've got the same sort of thing. If you press on YouTube, you've got all the different videos that I've created and they're all time stamped and so forth. Um, and it just goes on and on and on because I really enjoy it. Uh, I'm only really doing this to help other people um, because I enjoy making the tutorials. I'm pretty new at it, so I'm learning as I go along. So if you can think of anything, hit me up in the comments and uh, I'll make a small tutorial. I try and keep them as short as possible, but I do digress a little bit. Look, we've ended up on folders and we was originally in uh, doing projects. So I uh, hope you've learned something and I'll see you next time.